with an FC TV with Aaron Racine following a 3 1 win over the Open Town in the National South. Aaron, what were your thoughts on the game? Um, obviously, great result. Defended really well um, and then just a bit of scrappy in possession. Um, and it's been, that's been us the last few games really, but at the end of the day, it's all about results. Um, and the, the, the way they defended, I think you, they, they burnt the result regardless of how, they, how we play, um, how we played today. So, um, yeah, I think especially the last few games, we've managed to defend much better as a team in terms of supporting each other, but on top of that as individuals, just individual battles, winning them against opposite numbers. Who were particular individuals for you that stood up today? Uh, Ollie, right, keeper. Obviously saving the penalty, I think it's a big moment in the game. And I think prior to that as well, you think you pull off a really great save, which again, a big moment in the game, which probably changes it. Um, but in terms of on, on the field, I think everyone in terms of like endeavour, um, work rate and showing their sort of defensive responsibilities and capabilities, I think everyone was spot on. Yeah, and I mean, you look at that first half as well, there were a lot of times we were under a lot of pressure, but to ride it through and then getting comfortable with the game, it felt like as the half went on, the team seemed a little bit more comfortable with the occasion and with the game in general. Yeah, and again, the last few games, I think we've managed to um, ride these occasions out better. I think we've managed to defend better in these moments where we're under the cosh a little bit. So that's a pleasing thing. It's just getting that fine balance between when you do retain possession, being really good in the ball where you can control the game and keep it like we normally do. Massive two goals in Brad Donovan getting one in a massive occasion like this uh, and scoring two just on Monday. I mean, how big is that for someone like him to get this kind of experience? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, even just for him personally and obviously from the young boys that come on and the, on the bench, just playing here is a great experience regardless of the result and what you do. Uh, but on top of what he's done today, it'll, it'll send his confidence through the roof. But he won't, knowing Brad, he won't get complacent in terms of it. He'll probably be hungrier than ever to, to keep playing. It goes without saying as well with Ronnie Pierce and getting that last minute goal to really top it off and put the cherry on top. What an incredible moment that was. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Um, like I said, it's just that that's almost like your reward for that hard work defending throughout the whole game, especially that second half. Um, getting that third goal just makes the result and the scoreline look even better. And results not quite going our way above us as well, so keeping the pressure on teams above us. Exactly, yeah. I think the, the teams above us have got a slightly easier running than us. Um, but it, like you just said there, it's important to put the pressure on them um, right the way to the end of the, the last game. We take this right into Dartford on Tuesday, another big one for us to try and gain some momentum. I don't think there really could be a better way to go into a game than three wins on the bounce. No, yeah, honestly, that again, that's going to build a lot of self-confidence for the individuals and, and as a team. But there's still room for improvement. So even though results look good and, and, and like you said, we've had three good results, in terms of performances, there's definitely still more to come. So in, that, that's obviously a good thing and also a bit of a scary thing. Like we've got three great results. Um, I think we can see two of the last three and scored a handful or a handful or more. Um, but there's still more to come, which is, which is exciting.